confidence hack number 19, the paradox of provision in a billion cups of Starbucks coffee. Today's confidence hack is through the paradox of provision. Let me explain. Hey, I'm David Nurse. I coach NBA players, CEOs, and high performers how to hack their confidence. Now, if you want a daily or weekly email to your inbox, a boost of confidence to start your day off on the right foot, go to my website, davidnurse.com, and sign up for free. Receive that email and much more. Paradox. Noun. A seemingly absurd or self-contradictory statement or proposition that when investigated or explained may prove to be well-founded or true. That's the definition. Howard was born in subsidized housing in Brooklyn, New York in 1953. His father was a truck driver. A life of comfort for Howard and his family was as far away from New York as the Golden Gate Bridge. Howard studied his way into college, worked really hard, and upon graduating, he began working as a salesman for Xerox. Barely making ends meet, Howard was the furthest thing from what you would say is successful. However, in 1981, while working for Hammerplast, Howard went to Seattle to visit a newly opened coffee store named Starbucks. Howard was sent to replace their plastic cone filters. That was the order he was on that day. Immediately, Howard was mesmerized. He wanted in. Leaving a job where he had potential growth opportunities at Hammerplast, Howard was hired by Starbucks as a director of retail operations and marketing. While abroad on a coffee bean buying trip to Milan, Italy, Howard was exposed to it the espresso, a very non-American way to drink coffee at the time. But Howard saw opportunity. Starbucks, however, did not. They rejected Howard's idea. But what Howard had on his side, the paradox of provision. He knew deep down, against all odds, he was going to be successful. That's the paradox of provision. That great things are going to come even when you can't see them. And he also knew that the espresso idea would work. He scrounged up the money, all that he had, convinced investors to invest in a coffee shop he named Il Giomale, very Italian. Meanwhile, the paradox of provision was continuing to turn its wheels. Starbucks owners decided they wanted to change and focus on their newly formed and a little bit different coffee company named Pete's Coffee and Tea, which is still going today, successful. So Howard swooped in along with the investors. He bought Starbucks. What I once thought was that he was the founder, but he was not. He bought Starbucks, and as they say, the rest is history. Now there's a Starbucks on nearly every corner, and basically Starbucks inside Starbucks, it seems. The absurd, sta the absurd statement that Howard Schultz would ever be successful was a paradox, to say the least. But when you believe, as Howard did, in the paradox of provision, good things to come, no matter if you can't see them coming, there is nothing that can stop you from achieving your goals. Only you. The paradox of provision is often aligned with God's provision on your life. The confidence boost can come from knowing that God can provide that at any moment in your life. Literally, it's happened many times when you don't see it coming. The darkest day in front of you, the provision comes. Even if it feels incredibly contradictory to your life at this moment, it can all change. Like Joseph in the Bible, sold into slavery by his brothers, thrown into prison for crimes he didn't commit. The paradox of provision struck, and he was elevated to the right-hand man of the Pharaoh's kingdom. The highest could possibly be paradox of provision. So we gain confidence today in knowing that no matter the odds stacked against you right now or your future, the paradox of provision can occur at any time in your life. Maybe even today. Now, my wife and I, we just got back from Maui. We start our every year off in, in Maui. It's just a, such a refreshing, recharging way to start the year. But what I've been using, meat that I have been eating for the past six months and been absolutely obsessed with, comes from Maui. Maui Nui Venison. They have delicious ground meat, organ blends, a variety of steak cuts, rib chops, jerky. It's uh, very lean too. And I'm, I'm, I'm big on staying in the best shape I can possibly be in. And sometimes the, the beef will have a lot of fat in it. But Maui Nui Venison, extremely lean, healthy, all just amazingly raised 
in Maui, Maui Access Deer. So what they're doing it too is giving my listeners, you all, uh, a great deal to go try it out. And the code is NURSE for 20% off. Go to Maui Nui, N-U-I, venison.com. Check it out. There's great, great meat in there. You will, yeah, you'll get addicted like I have. And it's just, a, it's also a great gift to get people too. So check it out, Maui Nui, venison.com. 20% off with the code NURSE. And if you get it, let me know. Love to hear about your experience.